to strengthen Pakistan's army's firepower all along the western border, particularly to heat up the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir, Islamabad, has acquired the first batch of Chinese-made vehicle-mounted howitzers to counter the Indian K-9 Vajra howitzers, ensuring that Pakistan remains embroiled in a standoff with India. According to sources, Pakistan inked to contract with Chinese arms manufacturer Noran Co. in 2019 for the procurement of 236 SH-15, 155mm, vehicle-mounted howitzers, and AR-1300mm, multi-barrel, heavy rocket launchers. The total contract worth is around US$512 million. In addition to artillery, the deal comprises supply and technology transfer for different munitions, including extended-range artillery shells and guided artillery rounds with a range of 53 kilometers. SH-15, 155mm, truck-mounted howitzer. The SH-15 is based on an older SH-1 design. This truck-mounted artillery system is fitted with a 155mm gun howitzer. The howitzer system is operated by a crew of five and carries almost 22.5 tons of load. The 155mm 52 caliber long barrel howitzer is fitted with a double baffle muzzle brake. It has four boxes for carrying 60 rounds of ammunition as first line. This howitzer can use a wide variety of different ammunition. This artillery system is capable of direct and indirect firing. Maximum range of fire could be up to 53 kilometers with a rocket assisted VLAP projectile. Such range was already demonstrated by the older SH-1 system. Furthermore, this artillery system is capable of employing indigenous precision-guided munitions based on the Russian Krasnopol laser-guided projectile technology. The SH-15 is fitted with a computerized fire control system, navigation, positioning and targeting systems. The vehicle receives target information from artillery command vehicle. Indian K-9, Vajra, Howitzers. K-9 Vajra is essentially a mobile howitzer. The 50-ton K-9 Vajra can hit enemy targets up to 50 kilometers distant. It has its own propulsion mechanism for moving towards its firing location and can be used to shell enemy positions from a long distance. The projectiles are loaded into the ammunition tray by an automatic loading system and are ready to be fired. When in a standby position, the K-9 can fire within 30 seconds or 60 seconds while moving. The K-9's crew is shielded by all welded steel armor that can survive 14.5 mm armor-piercing bullets, 152 mm shell fragments and anti-personnel mines as well as extensive nuclear, biological and chemical protection. In MRSI mode, multiple rounds simultaneous impact the K-9 is capable of firing three shells in under 15 seconds, one every five seconds, each with a different trajectory, so that they all reach their target at the same time. This is especially useful in open-air surprise bombardment techniques against enemy fortifications and strongholds. Also, the Indian Army successfully tested the Made in India K-9 Vajra howitzers in high altitude last year. The Indian Army has deployed the 1st K-9 Vajra self-propelled howitzer regiment in the forward areas in Ladakh. The supply of conventional weapon systems, fighter aircraft, destroyers, and even the willingness to provide the DF-17 hypersonic missile to counter India's most recent acquisition, the S-400 air defense system, are all part of Beijing's long-term strategy to keep Pakistan in a state of perpetual conflict with India. This poses the threat of coordinated action along the northern and western fronts. That is, the two-front challenge, which refers to a simultaneous armed conflict between India and both China and Pakistan. China and Pakistan might choose either a collaborative or a collusive strategy. The former involves one country publicly assisting, the other militarily, whereas the latter involves the two countries cooperating covertly. 
covert collaboration means that, if India and Pakistan are involved, in an armed confrontation, China, will offer material and logistical assistance to Pakistan. And, in the event of a collaborative threat, any country may launch a second front militarily, in a coordinated way. Beijing's participation in building Pakistan into a nuclear state is well known. And, the reported supply of DF-17 mobile, solid-fueled, medium-range ballistic missiles by China to Pakistan is to substantially increase Pakistan's ballistic missile system, since the hypersonic missile is difficult to track and engage by most existing radars, including the S-400 system. And, at present, though, India lacks resources and other structural issues, the IAF is fully prepared to deal with any security challenge in eastern Ladakh. And new infrastructure, created by the Chinese side, in the region, will not affect India's combat readiness. The chief of air staff said, India is fully ready to deal with a two-front war scenario involving China and Pakistan. And the focus has been to enhance the IAF's overall combat capabilities. And, in order to deal with a two-front battle, India's military strategy must be based on the identification of a primary and secondary front. And, India should and must do everything to fight such a war and win it. While India tested its scramjet-powered hypersonic technology, demonstrator cruise vehicle HSTDV, on September 7, 2020, for hypersonic missile launch, the Chinese supply to Pakistan will undoubtedly drive and push the Defense Research and Development Organization to accelerate the domestic projects in a high speed.